It was awful, it's like being bullied at home. Got bullied at school. Boy, was I bullied. Aww. I had glasses, I had a brace, I had a hearing aid. <laughs> I wasn't deaf, it's nice to have the full set. <laughs> I'd have a brace because I had big teeth. Oh, boy, I had big teeth. <laughs> If I'd gone to Africa, I would have got poached. <laughs> Can you see how crooked my teeth are? Look, I hit them on a caravan hook on a gypsy park. <laughs> my own fault. Ha ha, you live in a car. <laughs> Look like they're having a party. Rushed to hospital, I'd have my gum sewed up, I'd have a brace fitted, helmet, <laughs> straps, rings, mesh, a ball. <laughs> I think he was a dirty dentist. <laughs> I come through the door wearing this brace, my dad erupts. How oh, the fuck are you meant to play football with that arm? Don't ask me, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this brace was huge. It was huge. It was like a pylon. It's like a pylon. <laughs> You'd have kids climbing up trying to get the frisbees back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd People say to me, Alan, have you had your teeth whitened? <laughs> Why would I whiten these? <laughs> Why would I bring any attention to these? It'd be like framing a hemorrhoid, wouldn't it? <laughs> Didn't help. <laughs> People buy rubbish even though they know it's rubbish. I bet you're all on eBay, aren't you? Yeah. You buy stuff on eBay that you wouldn't look twice at in the street. eBay is for people who are too proud to rummage through skips. you down the internet cat oh mattress one small stain six pound fifty <laughs> oh I'll save on postage and packing by strapping it to me back and walking around town with it <laughs> the only time I like to internet shop is late at night when I'm blind drunk due to that I love it because in the morning you've forgotten all about it and then when it arrives three days later, it's like you've got a secret admirer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Who would do this? <laughs> I've always wanted a shower mitt. I mean, I drink too much. Have you ever done that where you've fucking woken up the person in your bed and they're a munter? Who's done that? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, God. Pulling back that sheet, it's like silent witness, isn't it? <laughs> That's him. What you say to them when they're in the bed? What you fucking say? What you say? <laughs> oh, you, you entertain yourself. Lay there while I scrub me cock with some wire wool. <laughs> I've started having the blackouts with a drink. Oh, my God, the blackouts. I'm thinking of employing a secretary or something, do you know what I mean? Just to tell you what you've done. You've ever been that, that bad, haven't I? You need to apologise to Tony, Frank, Bob, the woman you slapped in the taxi rank, and the club rang. They said they found your pants. You're like, thanks, Miss Tim. That'll be everything. I mean, people do drink too much. My next door neighbour, Scally Karen, honestly. So, she's always pissed. She's paralytic. Passed out in the park the other day. She only came to when she was being rimmed by an Alsatian. <laughs> I tried to help, I had a stick. She was so 
I sat in the stand. She couldn't do anything. She was elderly. <laughs> She's got a man. How come she can get a man and I can't? She's uglier than me. She is. She's got worse teeth than me. They're like that. Uh, 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 uh. Someone happy slapped and they lost a finger. Honestly. <laughs> She brings these men home and I can hear her next door having sex. Honestly, she brings these men home sometimes more than one, honestly. It's disgusting, isn't it, madam? Two, three, four men. I don't know what she was doing the other night, but at one point it was winner stays on. <laughs> and I'm not slagging off Manchester. I've lived there for seven years, but I can hear her having sex. She's got that horrible mank accent. Oh, I'm sorry, and I can hear her having sex through the walls. It's disgusting. Oh, yeah, do it to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, do it. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know if she's coming or receiving a fax. <laughs> the walls are too thin. They're too thin. Last week I heard a fart. <laughs> then I heard her blame it on me. <laughs> now, honestly, as soon as I moved to Manchester, I knew there was trouble. Honestly, she hated me. I'd been there a week. Scally Karen starts knocking on my door, yeah, with a rolled up Matalan catalogue, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not reading it to her again. <laughs> says to me, you're not from round there, you're not from round there. I said, Karen, I said, it's not where you're from. I said, it's where you're at. I said, you can go anywhere. Well, you can't, you're electronically tagged. <laughs> she's got four kids by four different fathers. I'm not judging her, but she's a slag. <laughs> Don't you feel sorry for her? I'm terrorised on that estate. Terrorised. I've been burgled twice. I've had my car broken into. I caught one lad running up the road with my satellite navigation system. Do you know what hurt the most? I could hear her helping him. Turn left up the road. <laughs> Jump over the fence. You bitch! <laughs> and it's got serious. They slashed the brakes on my car. I knew it was them because they'd written surprise on me airbag. <laughs> I rang up the police. I said, look, I'm terrorised in my own home. He said, Mr. Carr, if you want to report your nuisance neighbours, we'll give you anonymity. Not being funny. If you get a letter saying you're a nuisance neighbour, chances are it's probably come from next door. <laughs> They're not that retarded. Who sent me this? Morning. <laughs> You had a shit photo, you had a shit year. <laughs> you had a good photo, you had a good year.